And now, in theory, this uh, relief. <laughs> in theory, this relief valve should have popped out. This is a E30 M3 oil filter head. It's really dirty because it's been sitting on a shelf. So I'm going to make a video on uh, taking out the valve and really cleaning all the gunk out of it and then reassembling it and putting it onto my car. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. Here's a list of uh, part numbers and stuff that someone may need. Uh, when I got mine, these were actually no longer available and really, really hard to get. And now they are available again, but they're extremely expensive. I think they're over $300. But if you need an entire one of these, the uh, casting is this part number here. The valve, which is a relief valve for if you start it in really, really cold weather. If someone decides that they want to replace theirs, the part number for that is listed right here. Um, I went ahead and listed that there's uh, crush seals, two of each, M12 and M18. And those correspond with these. Pressure switch, temp sender. These I'm using on my car. If you're doing this to an E30 M3, you won't see these. And then this is uh, an example of what the E30 M3 fittings look like. So these need the bigger crush seals, obviously, and these take the smaller ones. And now if you decide that you want to replace these two, here's the part numbers for those. So obviously I'm starting with the uh, all the fittings and sensors removed. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove this valve. And I found a good way to do this. Uh, since this slot is so small but so wide, uh, an Allen key that fits in there is actually a great way to get this snap ring out of here. So there's the snap ring. And now in theory this uh, relief... <laughs> in theory this relief valve should have popped out. Okay, I guess it's still in good condition. Next there's a seal in here which mine is being a little bit difficult to extract but there it is. Now I can extract the little plunger. Maybe. Yep, there it is. See how grimy and nasty that is? Alright, now that it's all clean, I'm going to go ahead and reassemble it. And uh, before I do that, I'm going to put just a little bit of oil on the, uh, on the internal parts like the spring so they don't flash rust or anything. Plunger goes, followed by the spring. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the seal back on the cap, just like that. Throw it in my valve spring compressor, maybe. You could also do this with like a big C clamp or something, that would work just fine. Let's see if I can finagle it in there now. It's so close. I think I can take it out now. Let's see. There it is. All right, next I'm going to throw on the fittings with the uh, copper crush seals there. Torque doesn't have to be crazy, just goot and tight. Next up, I'm going to install the uh, temperature sender if I ever decide to do a uh, oil temp gauge. Be nice to have one. And finally, the uh, pressure switch is going in. This one I'm not going to use because the, uh, the M10 has a uh, pressure switch on top of the cylinder head so I have no need for this except as a plug
Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.